Welcome back, guys. Let's get right back into it. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. Well, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Multi did, too. So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Ooh, shit's getting heated. Oof. Oof, guys. Oof. It's getting, it's getting hot in here. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Multi liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. And Suki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's n not what I... Oh, you you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Multi appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. <gasps> huh? How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh. Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Multi started showing up. What the fuck? Natsuki? Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like the fighting guys. Both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Multi, sh she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she can get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. That's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason. The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Multi. Well, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and the meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Multi? They're about to make me make a choice, aren't they? Um, well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Oh yeah, Sayori, I should blame her. <laughs> it's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So, of course, that's going to be... Help me, Sayori. <clears throat> I want to do that one. <laughs> Help me. N Natsuki glares at me, drying up the words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turned to Yuri. Y Yuri! But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori. Eh? Huh? Yeah, everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Multi. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. That's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Oh my god, this is getting bad. Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly what nobody likes. Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? But because Well... Also, Natsuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. 
big and beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Sayori is amazing. Multi, do not trash talk Sayori. She is a queen right now. I'll make some tea. <laughs> So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Uh -huh. Nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get her get herself hurt. <laughs> that makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good resident, regardless of what she says. If only I can get the chance to talk to her a little bit more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Multi, how about you? Yeah, it's, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you, sh you learn something from your friends too, so your poems will turn out even better. Oh, poem game. Poem game, I think to myself. Did I learn a little bit more about poems? If any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those who I want to impress. Are you going to force me to try to impress people, game? Multi. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Yeah, but it surely has been wonderful. Yep. Can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Yep, there we go. Sorry, about what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fighting like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. Just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Multi, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest, and I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. Pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Time for a poem, my friends. But it's like it's trying to force me to go for like who I like, and I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. It's also really making me dig, like, Sayori or Natsuki. Although I like her, too. They're all nice, but, like, uh, I like that Monica is not on the list. I find that very interesting. That is a purposeful choice. And it, like, I, I, I don't know if I dig it yet. Uh, well, I'm just going to keep going down my random path. Uh, let's go for... Oh, see, my, my path that I like to take, that I took one time, all, all her. Just all her. Let's save. <sighs> let's see. Um, let's try to go for each girl once, and that should make something fair. Uh, at three girls, 20 options, so one girl will probably get like one more point. All right, so her, I'm going to guess Giggle. Nope. All right, so I'm going to guess her again. Friends. All right, so I did both of them, so let's do her. So Misfortune. Nope. Ooh, fucked it up. Oops. Romance. Oops. She's got three so far. Depression? Oh, God. <gasps> that bothers me. She's getting a lot of the dark things. Um, existence? Anime? Heck yeah. Melancholy. Okay, so she's got three. I need one for her. Oof. Joy? Eternity. Kitty? Kiss? Ah, oh, I thought so. I don't know the points yet, though. I'm pretty confused on the points. Frightening. Lipstick. Hair. 
clouds. Oh shit. Uh, sweet. Laugh. Bubbles. Flower. Oops. I guess I really didn't go for the purple haired girl on that one. I tried. I'd count it, but I'm way too lazy for all of that. Another day passes. Actually, um. Should that be the beginning of a new video? Yeah, why not? Nah, nah, let's keep going. Another day passes, it's time. Okay, another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past few couple days. Entering the classroom, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Multi. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Mm-hmm. I'm still, I'm just still not used to you being in the club is all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you. Speaking of which... Oh, God, I burped. I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? Mm, no, thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? What? That all of a sudden? <laughs> no reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh-uh. So you nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. She turns upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. uh -huh. I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So, either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves one option. Uh, I give up. <laughs> Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Oof. Hardcore. Get wrecked. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Uh ah? I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Moldy to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved in something like that, Sayori. Besides... You should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is far and fair enough retribution. Ah, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad. Now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That... Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside us all, isn't there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. B but you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes, so I had to trick Nizuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know where something smacks Kyori in the face, and she tumbles into the desk. Ow! What was... Eh? Uh, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution! Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Natsuki, you little shit. I love you. I was just going to give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> N Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Jeez, just eat it. Sorry, rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Oof. Sayori suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Takes a bite of her own cookie. Can I try it? Jeez, beggars can't be choosers, but yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy you shared this one with me. Mm-hmm. Sorry, gets out of her seat and goes behind the cookie, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand, and Tsuki reaches up to nudge Sari off of her. Um. Sari then leads down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. <laughs> hey! Did you seriously just do that? Mouthful Sari trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? That's a glances around. 
Monica isn't in the club room. Ah, uh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm, that's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's probably true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up, anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. I don't, really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Multi. Monica smiles sweetly. She always smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry, I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Mm, no, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapades. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone else has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Multi, multi. Suddenly, Sayori stands up to me. I'm going to go get some supplies from another classroom. Want to come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know, how the festival's coming up. Me and Monica were going to make some posters and stuff, so I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Uh, are you going with Multi to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Ah, uh, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See if you can find the poster paper, too, okay? Okay. Ready, Multi? Yep, let's go. Sarah and I exit the club room. Uh, this feels like a decently long episode, so I'm going to end it here, and we will continue next time.